everybody? This is Scott at Titans of CNC, and I'm back with the Studer S41 from United Grinding. And I'm really glad that you guys liked the last videos we did where we did some OD grinding between centers. And then we had some awesome questions that were answered by Long, the applications engineer from United Grinding. I hope that between those two videos, you guys got some great insight on what we're doing here with this grinder. Now, today is gonna be just a little bit different. We got a new part where we have some OD grinding, a shoulder grind, as well as inside or ID diameter grinding. So we got a new setup on the machine. We got a new wheel that's cocked at 30 degrees. Because we have an ID grinder and an OD grinder, we're gonna have two separate dressing units in the machine. We have a swing down rotary dresser that's gonna dress the small ID wheel. We also have a single point dresser that's gonna dress our 30 degree aluminum oxide wheel. Now, since we're grinding the inside diameter of this part, we're not gonna be able to hold it between centers anymore. So we actually have a manual chuck that's gonna hold the part from the inside. So we have access to the front of the part with the ID grinder. In order to achieve the correct surface finish and tolerance for this particular part, we're gonna use an OD plunge for this diameter, an angle plunge so we can actually grind the OD of this part and the shoulder at the same time. And then we're gonna do a tool change to the ID wheel and then use a plunge with oscillation on the inside. And that oscillation, you're actually gonna see the wheel slightly moving in and out, and that's gonna help us achieve a better surface finish. Something I wanted to talk about is the speeds that we're using to cut this part. Now they're drastically different. If you've seen the, we got the big 20 inch wheel that we're using for the outside diameter of this part. And we got that really small inside diameter wheel that's gonna do the inside of this part. Now we've programmed this part to run a constant surface footage of 7,000 SFM, which if you're a machinist know, that's very fast. If you're running three, 4,000 SFM on a mill, you know that those numbers are pretty high. You're running really aggressive. This machine runs easy at 7,000 SFM. So in order to achieve that with a 20 inch wheel, that RPM is gonna be spinning at about 1,300 RPMs. And that's gonna give us that 7,000 SFM finish. Now, in contrast, you have the ID wheel spinning at 22,000 RPMs to achieve that same surface footage. As well as an oscillation movement to increase our surface finish on the inside of this part, we're gonna actually swing the dresser down in process. So we're gonna rough, swing the dresser down, dress our wheel and then fine and do the finish pass on the inside of that wheel. That's gonna help us achieve the best surface finish on the inside. Even though the machine's moving all over the place, we're still able to achieve part-to-part -part repeatability under a tenth. And we know this because we put these parts on our Mitutoyo MyStar CMM and it showed us how accurate these parts are part to part. Man, as usual, the grinder does an amazing job giving us beautiful surface finish. That's that 7000 SFM giving us that beautiful surface finish. Also on the inside diameter, it's beautiful. I hope you guys are enjoying all the grinding we're doing on the Studer S41 from United Grinding. If you guys like what you're seeing, go ahead and like and subscribe to the video. Also, if you have any comments or questions, put them in below. We love seeing your guys' feedback so we can continue to give you guys great content.